Alright, hi guys! Um, I am actually vlogging with my brother's camera, his Sony A5100, right? I really miss this camera. I actually used to use this camera a lot. I've used it in some of my previous vlogs. Well, I don't even want to say previous vlogs because I haven't vlogged in a minute. Literally, I think like my makeup looks so bad right now. <sighs> and my face just looks really weird right now. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Mm. I used um, Burlington makeup. <sighs> Should I say it's bad? Um, I'm just saying that a lot of it didn't mix right because my face doesn't look like it's full capacity. I feel like it's like falling. <sighs> it just doesn't look right. And luckily this camera has like a filter so you guys can't even like tell. But yeah, we're going to actually head out. We're going to probably go have some brunch. Brunch? It's already like four. Like I was saying, there's a lot we have to update you guys on. Uh, but, oh my god, it's really hot. But it's like, oh my god, even just being here, like, ugh. Um, I woke up feeling really good today. The past few days have been really, really, like, rough, I think, for all of us. Yeah. Like, I don't even want to, like, come off dramatic. I know a lot of people think different about pets. Some people see dogs as just dogs. And for some of us, they're literally, like, our children. So... Um, we lost, oh my god, oh, why am I getting, so, this is one of the reasons why I have been, like, really, really talked about it, um, but Cuddles did pass away, and it, like, breaks my heart just even, like, saying it, uh, him and Handsome were, like, the little duo that we've had for, like, ever, Cuddles was there since our apartment days when me and Karina, like, first moved out, I was always so worried about Handsome, because I know he's older, he's literally a little old man, like, I don't know exactly how old is he, because he was literally homeless, like, I saved him, so I've never really known his real age, but I, we always, we, obviously just us having him for such a long time, like, that tells you that he's obviously, you know, a lot older, and I've always just thought, like, handsome. It's been really hard, I'd never re imagined me to feel this way, because I've never, like, gone through this losing a dog that you're so close to so i've never experienced anything like this um the other day i was well, yesterday i was about to start filming i had everything set up and i was gonna do a little q a a little chit chat i was gonna bring up cuddles just something quickly uh but just like move on to the video and answer different questions but i just couldn't the thought that i was even gonna mention him in the video had me so like nervous and I just remember my husband was helping me like set up and I literally just like broke down and I told him like I can't do this like I feel so bad that I'm even filming right now like I'm so depressed like I was gonna put a fake face on for you guys like I literally was just gonna do this just to post a video and that's not me at all like I genuinely like enjoy filming my videos so I just knew that it just wasn't right. I I was just not in the mood, like, at all. But anyways, we actually just got here to um, Johnny's. Oh my god, this lighting is so bad. Maybe I should go this way? Oh wait, there's nothing this way. Is he? Oh, oh god. Well, it's not that bad. It could bad. probably just be the camera. It's and you have bad. zero minutes of filming. Oh, Jesus. Pause it. Um, I also burned myself today and I have like a little mark right here. Oh wow, I should, I should probably warn people about that, huh? Trigger warning if you... I'm serious <laughs> though, like it's bad. And he got that for... Um, when I was making a hole in the ground. Yeah, when you were making the hole for cuddles. It's so tragic, like it's so damn tragic that things like this have to happen. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I know I was like telling you guys, but it's been like really hard for us. But anyways, forty-two. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Did you say cheese and rice? What? You said cheese and rice. Um, took my lipstick off. I was just close to like going home and just, just taking off all my makeup. But I think I'm just gonna remove the inner corner glitter moment. I'm not living for it. I'll see how my foundation is kind of like holding up. It was a lot of cream products as well. I feel like my face is going to get oily really fast. And today should be fun. We're also going to go, I think, watch Toy Story. Ooh, girl. 
I think I like cut you guys off earlier. Honestly, I just don't want to really talk about it. I just like wanted to say it to the vlog channel in case you guys are not updated. Um, but I've been really freaking going through it and today's like the first day that I actually feel like a lot better and I don't like really want to get too deep into it. So yeah. Okay guys, um, we're actually gonna head out really quickly. We're gonna go watch Toy Story. Um why does my face still look darker than my chest? I literally just used concealer. So, um, we are running a little bit late. Literally, the movie starts like in 10 minutes. But I thought since we like live close, we would make it. <laughs> and I was just quickly doing my makeup in the, in the, whoa. I was doing my makeup really quickly inside the filming room. I just did my brows, I did some concealer, mascara. Literally, that's all I did. And for some reason, my face still looked darker over there. Like, how is that even possible? Um, and I put some powder too. Oh, some bronzer, but no foundation. Just like concealer on the areas I needed. I needed. Because uh, I looked too crazy. I took my makeup off. I wasn't feeling feeling myself at all. But we're gonna go watch Toy Story, and uh, Peter's out there. My cousin Peter's out there. So should be should be a lot of fun. We just got back from watching Toy Story. It was like the cutest thing ever, huh? Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4. <laughs> Jesus. I just think like I'm having a really hard time like coping with it and I have my good moments, like really good moments where I'm like fine. I for completely forget about it. And then I have my moments where I'm just like, uh, like you just don't know what to do. We found out a couple days ago, each day gets easier. I'm just like really, really emotional about it, that's all. I don't know. But should we head out, baby? Yeah. Um, oh my god, I need to stop eating this popcorn. I want like actual food, food. That's true. Good morning, world. Hi, guys. It is currently um, the next day. It is actually Sunday, and we're gonna have a little barbecue with the family right now. Um, well, not right now. It's still a little, a little early, but we're gonna have a barbecue later in the afternoon. And I'm not sure if I want to like vlog. Are we gonna vlog that? Mm. I don't know. I think I just want to like close off the vlog, honestly. Do or we don't, it'll be on the next vlog. Yeah, if we do end up vlogging it, it's definitely gonna be in the next vlog. But I just wanted to quickly like come on here the next day and just close off this vlog because the vlog was very short yesterday and yesterday was a really good day. It was the first time in a few days that I actually got up and got ready because I was just not feeling myself. And I feel like I didn't really talk about what happened to Cuddles and I feel like I'm just not ready to fully talk about what happened just because it's like really traumatizing in general, like what happened to him. So I'm just not ready to talk about it, but just letting you guys know, like yes, Cuddles did pass away. Cause I was just watching right now. I just like quickly, quickly was looking at the vlog and like it was so fast and I didn't really explain and I don't want to do too much explaining. Like when we're ready to talk about it, we'll talk about it, but I, I just know like if I start talking about it, I'm going to lose it like I just I feel like People it's really hard for people to understand if you're not a Pet lover if you don't see dogs as family There's people that just see dogs as just dogs and there's people like us that see them like our children So for me, it's just been like really hard Yesterday was a good day. I was like, okay, it's the first day in a few days. that I feel good so I got up, I got ready, I filmed. I even felt good when I was filming. And then as soon as I like wrapped it up, I was like, just reality hit and I was like, oh my God, you know, here we go again. Cuddles, you know, like accepting Cuddles death. Like it, it's like, I try not to think about it. So I was fine. We start vlogging, which is crazy because I haven't vlogged in forever. So I start vlogging, I feel really good. I'm so excited that we're vlogging because I haven't vlogged in forever. And yeah, I'm excited that I'm vlogging. We go out to eat um, a cute little, cute little lunch that we had. And I'm still not feeling myself. I hate how my makeup looks because I used Burlington makeup. That's a video that should be coming up soon on my beauty channel. And I love the way that it looked like on camera and then as soon as I step out to the sun I'm like whoa like my makeup is creasing my face is really oily I'm just like oh god so that's something I didn't explain I think I kind of was complaining in the vlog but 
I did end up washing off my face. What did we do when we got back from from eating? I forgot. What did we do? What did we do? When we came back from eating and took a freaking nap, just when I thought it was a good day, like just when I thought, huh? Yeah. Just when I thought I had a good day, as soon as I'm like, you know, getting ready to go to sleep, I just like lose it. I'm like, oh my God. It's because you know what too, like I feel like our, our little routine is like when we get home, like the dogs are always with us and like, say if we go in the room and the dogs are inside, they'll go to our door and start like, like scratching it. So like, it was just like, kind of out of place like the, we don't have our little routine anymore i guess you could say foxy and butter like they're just naturally like outside dogs they love being outside cuddles and handsome were the ones that would like sleep with us yeah. literally like in the same bedroom even like in the on like on the bed with us sometimes so when it comes to times like i'm giving like the dogs food i'm like oh my god cuddles and like i had a little i had a little nickname for cuddles i would call him monster because he was a little monster he was such a cute like sweet dog but like he was like really bad at times too you know so i would call him like my little monster and like i had a way of saying monster i'd be like my little monster like mm -hmm. monster like with a little lisp and like he knew his name was monster it was the cutest thing ever and like in my head like as i'm like trying to go to sleep i'm like oh my little monster like in my head i'm like talking to him okay i don't know if i'm just going fucking crazy but i like to talk to him in my head and like last night like when we were gonna go to sleep oh god this this is like why i as sad as it is like i like to put a fake face on and but this is why I don't like talking about it because I feel like I'm going to cry now and I like that that's the least thing I want to do on here because I've been crying way too much these past days. I did not think it would affect me this hard. I even like thought, I was like, I'm definitely depressed. Like I'm not coping with this really well at all. But then like I said yesterday, I woke up, I was like, wow, I woke up feeling good. I got ready, I filmed a video, like who am I? I don't know when it's gonna get easier. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to completely just like accept it. It just makes me really sad and a lot of people don't understand that. I feel like I'm just rambling now, but I just, I feel really good that I'm like talking to you guys about it because I haven't really talked about it, but. It's good to vent. Yeah, it's really good to vent, especially what I've been fucking going through. The other day I was telling, well the day that I was supposed to film, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I just wanted to get back on that grind. And I wanted to film, and as my husband was setting up the lights, I just like broke down. Like I started crying and I told him, I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't know if I'm losing my mind. You question if you're literally going crazy. Like, it's horrible to say, but I'm like, why can't I just like accept it as what it is and like just think about the positive moments? Like I think a lot about just the whole situation alone instead of thinking about the, the the good moments you know so yeah i had a meltdown there and then like i said yesterday last night before going to sleep i had a full i think i went to sleep crying i had a full meltdown i remember like crying like crying crying and then going to sleep and then like i would like wake up crying today i woke up feeling really good and then it just sucks because I don't know when throughout the day I'm just going to feel. I just feel like I've been extremely emotional about this. And when I can't control myself, I just cannot control myself. Like, it's just a thought. And then yesterday I forgot to completely vlog for you guys. But that actually, that's exactly what we did actually after we went came from eating. Well, we went in, to Cuddle's grave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yesterday when we came back from meeting, we actually uh, went to Cuddle's grave in the backyard. Thank you, Alex, so much for all the help. Alex is Karina's assistant. assistant. She's the one that films Karina's videos and stuff yeah. like that. And she went to the store and she got all these things. And oh my God, the grave came out so, so cute. And I'm just so glad that we are able to just go back there and like visit him instead of, you know, 
who knows where he would have gone or completely just losing him and not knowing like what happened to him i want to thank you guys so much for all the endless love and support like i literally want to thank everybody that has told me their stories that had just giving me really kind words to try to like comfort me it means a lot because when you're going through things like this like you really like you feel so down so when you are reading like texts from friends and it's complete like a hundred depend like <sighs> depression like yeah like, even on that day, I, like, I, I just wasn't myself. My husband just... found his body. Like, there's so much, like, we yeah. want to, like, talk about. Like, I want to tell you. It's just... A lot. But it's, like, so sad the way he went that it's, like... Oh, my God. I genuinely feel like if I talk to you guys and explain everything, like, it would give you guys anxiety. Like, I'm so traumatized about this whole situation. But... Like I said, I don't want to get too deep into it. I'm just so thankful that all of you guys are so supportive and for everyone sending me really nice DMs and all of our friends like texting us. Like it means a lot, but I'm just extremely grateful that people like are understanding. But yeah, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day with my family. I'll probably go ahead and vlog that for you guys. I love you so much. And until the next one, we will see y'all later. Do you want to come in? Huh? I'm like crying. <laughs> oh my god, my husband is crying. Oh my god, this is like, this is hard, okay? Like, this is why, uh, I don't know. It's just really, really hard. But I'll see you guys in the next one.